Hello, differential equation students. We have here a second order linear homogeneous differential equation, and I'm giving you two solutions. And we are asking, are they fundamental solutions? Does this set form a fundamental set? And as we'll talk about in class, this means any solution of this differential equation can be written as a linear combination of these two solutions. All right, well, how do we check that? Well, to check that, what we need is the Ronskian. So for the Ronskian, what we're trying to find in our notation is the following. We're trying to find W of Y1 and Y2 of T. So in particular, that's going to be a 2 by 2 determinant, where the first row of our matrix comprises our first two solutions, and the second row is their derivatives. Let's do that. We've got our two by two determinant. Both of these are power functions, so they are easy to differentiate. We're taking a two by two determinant, so of course we're going down that direction and then subtracting what we get when we multiply that direction. So we're going to get minus 1 half. Those powers of t together form t to the positive 1 half. Minus, let's see, we're going to get a 2. And um, that's going to be t to the 1 half. So we're going to get negative 5 halves t to the 1 half. Now, what do we care about this? Well, what's important here is that we're able to say the following. This is not equal to zero for some t. In other words, there's some t value. In fact, every t value that's positive and non-zero will make this non-zero. Because of that, as long as we're able to say that, we can conclude the following. So y1 and y2 are fundamental solutions. Or decoding that just a little bit, what does that imply? Every solution to our DE can be written in the form of a linear combination of these two. So it has the form C1, Y1 plus C2, Y2. In other words, if you know you have solutions that happen to be fundamental solutions, you know that by taking linear combinations of these two functions, you capture every single solution to the differential equation. That's what it means to be fundamental.